first opened back in 2010. There's a shot of Target Field here in downtown Minneapolis. Today, game three of this four-game weekend set. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Texas Rangers. As 2012 AL Manager of the Year, Bob Melvin aligns his guys this way. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. Jackie Bradley is the 1-1 pitch. 1-1 pitch is in the air now out to left field. Taylor has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. So the leadoff man set down here in... And he misses with it, ball four. So it's a one-out walk here in the top of the first. Now a ground ball here for Weeks could be two. Back to first, but it's right over his head. Giancarlo Stanton. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. No, oh, and it's geez. off target, and he'll be safe at third. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. And the two-out threat will not come. To Starting lineup for the Twins looks like this. And there you get a look at the starting pitcher whose job it'll be to keep these guys in check. Glenn Davis will step in. Now a swing and a fly ball. Not hit all that well out towards Stanton in right. And he's got it for the first out. Brad Miller. Well, that may have been the last pitch in the at-bat that he could do something with. He's not going to get anything better than that. Throw in time at first for route number two. Joe Maurer will dig in now. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. Stanton is under it, and he makes the catch. Christopher Madison. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Matt Davidson. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And he is going to reach. It's a base hit. Around first, heading for second now. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Jose Batista will stand in. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up. Really got under this one. Out near the bag at second. Miller camps under it, and he's got it for route number two. Francisco Linder. That one. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third. Number 78. The pitcher's call there. Hit hard toward the right side. And that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. Chris Taylor. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch gets under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. Catch made out there in left center as the runner may tag from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Trevor Plouffe. Off speed pitch and there is strike three called and boy that zone just got a bit larger two away will stand in now just a few ticks shy of the 300 mark for the season and he goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left and this is into the bleachers here. swing and a ball hit on the ground a dive and he knocks it down and not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will season. Here's a line drive caught coming off the bag. Unlucky that time, and that ball will...
Jackie Bradley. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Jamie Chavez. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And this will stay playable as it's taken in just shy of the screen for the second out. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Taylor is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Glenn Davis. You take that, you basically waste that opportunity you had on two and two. Fastball swung on and hit on the ground at third. And a good throw gets him one gun. Brad Miller. Pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Joe Maurer. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second. Stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. There's one. Back to first and a great stretch there may be the difference. Giancarlo Stanton. And they're going to have a leadoff base runner here as the fastball's lined in to left to base hit. William Sawyer. Stop. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And out of here! Two-run shot to straightaway center. Eighth home run on the season for him. As the Rangers are back in business, they tie it at two. Christopher Madison. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Matt Davidson. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out towards straightaway right. Number 78 is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first out. Jose Bautista. Got him. Francisco Linder. For a strike. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. But two here in the Rangers' half of the inning, and they come on this two-run home run. Chris Taylor, pitch. Swing and a ground ball to short. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Trevor Plouffe. Curveball grounded towards second. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. Brendan Webb. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Drifting back behind first now. Langley is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Jackie Bradley. And now he turns on a fastball here and sends it to fairly deep right field. And that will find the seats, a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Rangers have taken the lead. It's now 3-2. to two. Jamie Chavez. Got him. Alex Langley. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And that ball is out of here. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 13 for him on the year. And it gives the Rangers a 4-2 lead. Giancarlo Stanton. Up the velocity here the last two pitches. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time. And there are two away. William Sawyer. And 
and he didn't miss that by much. It's popped way up on the infield, and I mean way up there. And Reynolds will touch. Mark Reynolds. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Jamile Weeks. Very close with that one. I don't think I'd recommend taking that pitch again on a 3-2, though. That's it sharply past the mound and on into center field for a one-out single. Glenn Davis fly out in a ground ball thus far. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And they're not going to get Weeks. He's in there with a stolen base. Weeks with his lead. Now the pitch. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. And that'll plate the run from second as the lead is trimmed to 4-3 now. Missed. It's 0-1. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw behind the runner to second. Well, he watched that one all the way in, and it looked like he almost gave up on it. He's pretty lucky that wasn't called strike three. And a fastball swung on and missed his. And, oh, that drilled him pretty good as the ball squirts off toward third. But they'll get the out at first anyway. And that, rather bizarrely, will end the inning. Ryan Presley will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Oh, had to protect on one and two, and this is a fly ball out to straightaway right field. And the sixth inning opens with a fly out, one away. Matt Davidson. Here's the two and two offering. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Number 78. Now he reaches for a curveball here and sends one on the ground to third. And a base hit, so he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Chris Taylor throwing down there. He's running towards second. And a fastball swung on and hit in the air to left. Bradley is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Trevor Plouffe. Lee, an effort to make the stop. Easy there, Cha-Cha. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. On to first, and he really paid the price. Francisco Linder. Now a swing and a ground ball. And a rather easy first down. Jackie Bradley will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. There's a big swing and he gives this one a ride high and deep to right center. And see you later. That one is gone. Solo shot to right center, his second of the game, and it's now 5-3. to three. Jamie Chavez will... Swing and a liner toward right center, and he's got himself a base hit. Tanner Shepherds will come on now as he inherits a runner at first with already one out in the inning. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. Step on the bag for one. On to first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo. Number 32 will be the new pitcher. Brendan Webb will dig in again. And as he does, we'll flash you back to inning number two as you get a look at his two-run homer that... Now a fastball, and he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes two. Now on the mound, even though you've got a base open, 
this is the guy you want right here. You don't want to turn this lineup over and let the top of the order get their chance. Glenn Davis. Right there. Both pitches in the upper 90s. Now a ball hit sharply toward third. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. Brad Miller comes set. Now the pitch. Hit hard to the right side, but right to him out at second. Giancarlo Stanton. The big one. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. William Sawyer will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Here it comes. Now he tries to hold back on the swing, and the home plate umpire says he did so successfully. Hmm. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. And he swings under the curveball here as this is lifted to shallow center field. Miller will put this one away, and the side is retired. And they're in fact. This is sharply hit back up the middle, and the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. Number 78 will be the batter. The hits. And no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Chris Taylor, Colin Ballister will come on out of the bullpen. Now. now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. And he strikes him out as well, so make it back-to-back -back punch out. Jose Bautista. Well, and he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. And this will find the seats in left for a home run. A solo home run that time off the bat of Jose Batista. Home run number five on the year, and it's now 6-3. to three. Abe Castellano will come in and pitch now. Francisco Linder right in the face. He just hasn't been able to recognize these pitches that are well out of the zone. Hit on the ground to shortstop. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there. Ian Kinsler will come on as a pinch hitter. And this is swung on and missed, so not a productive at-bat off the bench, and there are two away now. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. So the Rangers add on thanks to this solo home run. Ian Kinsler will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Robbie Ross is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. That time, and it's one and two. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strike out of the game. Two men out. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. And that'll be the one that ends it. And the Rangers are back in the win column again. They take game three of the series, and the ball game is over. By them in every phase of the game. Time to hand out Topps Player of the Game honors for this one. And guys, I think we can all agree that this fellow right here continues to get more and more unlikely. That ball hit hard, high, deep, stretch. Stretch. He looks up. You can put it on the board. Yes. In the air to left field. Towering shot. Forget about it. He did it. Jim Tomey. Opposite field. Pitch hit. Home run. And for Jim Tomey. All the talk. 
and this is hit out into the alleyway. A long run for Blanco, and Blanco's going to dive, and he makes the catch! Just an unbelievable catch here in the seventh inning. Two and two on Brock Holt. And hooked into right field to base hit there, going to hold the runner at third. Oh. In the air. There's a great arm out there. Might be deep enough, though, for Schaefer. And Keel's going to whip it home, and Schaefer stays. Look at that. On a fly. One out. Not too many times as an outfielder do you make the highlight reel with a simple routine fly ball to straightaway center field. But I guarantee you, if you tune on the highlight shows tonight, you're going to see this. Come on. Albuquerque had to bounce. Bounce back from right elbow surgery this year. Wasn't activated until the third week of August. Into center. At the wall. Another. Pablo Sandoval with a three-homer game in World Series game number one. Alvarez hammers it. Deep to right center field. Way back it goes. El Toro strikes in the 19th. And his wife, Kelly, loves it. Left field. Going back. Guess what? That's going to be gone, gone, gone. The Beaumont Bombers done it again. Get ready, everybody. Enjoy it. Now Harper on a 2-1 pitch. Stauffer from the windup. And that ball is blasted. Center.